Hey guys, it's Jess from Marks and Motherhood, and today I'm really excited to show you this new brand. Now, I know a lot of people when they first see this want to say Peekaboo, but actually, this is short for Little Owl. So, this is an abbreviation for the Spanish word owl, and that is also why on all these little zippers, I'll zoom in for you guys, they have these cute tiny owls on them. And I thought that was a super cute name idea. I've seen tons and tons of different brands and names over the years and I thought that one was really creative. So, with the name aside, the bag itself is vegan leather. This is it next to the Camel Maiden bag, so it's a little bit darker. As you see, I know everyone always is curious about coloring. And then this is the saddle color with Maiden and it's lighter than that. So if you're curious about what the color is on the bag. Like I said, it reminds me of kind of a camel color. So with this bag, the really nice thing is you can carry it on the outside. You can carry it by itself, which is what these straps are for. But the other nice thing, which is how I've been carrying it, is you can unzip this front little pouch off and you have your portable little like wristlet bag. Now all of this stuff when you first get it comes with this cute little packaging. I kept this one in to show you guys and it shows you how to um, use everything. So as you're taking it apart, it'll show you how to refold stuff. It'll show you how to use the different pockets and it was super cute and fun to unpack. But if you wanted to stick, say this bag just in here and not use this diaper bag because you don't have kids in diapers, that's another option. Then this um, zipper here is just for that purpose, but you can tuck it in under the flap and you won't even notice it's there. It's just a little added texture there in the front. Now also with this bag here, as you saw, I just zipped off the front part, but when it is zipped on, it is a magnetic closure for the wipes. So it makes it really easy and accessible to grab them. Then the zipper right above the one that zips off the pouch is where you put in the wipes or whatever to refill them. So as you see, I don't have a ton in this package. It's probably about 20 wipes, I would say. So it's not bulging out a lot. It fits in there really easily. It has their logo there on it. It has a little etch design around it. Then the next part that makes this even more convertible is that it's a fold out changing mat. So makes it easy. I have the wipes there on that side to change them on this side. I have a couple of diapers because I only have my youngest in diapers right now. So if I am in a public restroom, I'll usually just use a disposable change pad. Then there's a potty liner for one of my kids if they need it and a couple of size four diapers and it doesn't add any bulk here to the side, which is nice. It stays nice and slim. And then you just fold it right back up. Zip it up here on top and you are good to go. So that makes it kind of the traveling little mom pouch or whatever. And like I said, if you're out of diapers, just zip this off and you have a nice little wristlet to take on the go. Then here in the front is a wallet that comes with the bag, which I think is awesome. And it has quite a few card slots, a zipper pouch, a little cash slot and everything. But it's super slim and compact. It's magnetic and it just goes right here in the front. So Everything you would need is just inside this wristlet. So like I said, if you just want to throw this in the bag and you're not using diapers, that's an option. If you are still using diapers and you only want to carry this while you're out and about, it can carry all the essentials for you for a quick trip as well. And you can just put on the crossbody strap. Now for the main bag. So like I said, this isn't a slip pocket or anything. It's just a zipper that attaches the front pouch as well as these two clips. So that's in the front as well as these D-rings that are used for the tote strap. Now the thing that really drew my eye was actually this strap in the back. So it pulls up to be a tote strap, but any second can be a backpack, which I feel like is a game changer for a toddler because the bags that are convertible usually require you to re-thread it to then carry it as a backpack. And the fact that you can literally be carrying this on your shoulder, your toddler runs off and you can quickly throw it on as a backpack, makes it a game changer. 
So I really like that. The straps, I mean, unless you have some sort of padding, they're going to be uncomfortable if you pack a lot. But for what I have packed, and I'll show you guys, it was comfortable to wear, and I didn't even notice the weight of the bag at all. So, like I said, really nice. You don't have to re-thread it. It is just ready to go. It is adjustable, though, if you do need some more length, which is the case for some people, so that the tote straps are the same. Now, for the main pocket, since I don't have anything in the outside bottle pockets except some trash bags and then usually I have a snack on this side but I don't have anything in there right now so in the main purse as you can see there is a ton of room as far as being able to see everything and even with four kids I'm just not packing a ton these days so I'm going to show you guys what I have and this is kind of just when we're going out and about when I go to the park all I need is snacks. When I go to the splash pad, I just need their swim clothes. When I go to someone's house, usually they don't need stuff. So this is more like if we're going out, we're also going to go out to eat and I want to entertain them a little bit. So here in the main part of the bag, I have our Where's Waldo books that my kids really like, my older two. So there's one for each of them. And as you saw, it slid in there really easily. Then I have a large GGB set piece, all that's in here is a little colander and some pipe cleaners for a little busy, toddler busy activity for my three-year-old and my one-year-old. Right in front of that, I have a touch and feel book for my one-year-old. Then I have a UB pencil case, which I'm afraid it's all gonna fall off. Okay, <laughs> um, with stickers and the twistables or whatever and if I want to I can put one of these in for all of my kids but right now I just have it for my three-year-old and they'll color and they usually don't care and they'll all just take papers out and color and use it. Now we just have all the pockets and over time I have realized that what really weighs my bag down is water and when you have four kids and they all have water and snacks it really weighs your bag down. Now I'll still carry some snacks in here for them obviously but their water bottles they're in charge of and my three-year-old and one-year-old tend to have these munchkins because they can have a snack in it and have their water and just keep track of that. So if you want to keep it in your bag, these bottle pockets here on the side are super roomy and you can totally fit it. I can still fit the Where's Waldo book right behind it and slip it out without any issues. You're going to have a little space eaten up where I had the... Um, drawing and stuff but then I would just put it on this side so you can fit a cup in here if you just have one or two toddlers you could put one on each side carry different things so it definitely fits cups and they're nice and roomy and secure they're not going to fall over in the bag as you can see but I just don't carry them in my bag anymore I just have the kids carry it so what I have in this cup holder bag is a planet wise snack bag and it has one of the Ryan and Rose spoons for her, a bib for her, and then one of the replay convertible little sippy cup things. It's not really a sippy cup because it has a straw, but a straw lid, and then we can put it on any cup wherever we're eating at, and that's her kit. Then my son is the same thing. He has one of the replay things and some disposable bibs, which we don't always put on them, but they're there if we need them. Those are those two side pockets. Then here in these front pockets, I have a medium jujube set piece, which just has like teething straws, Daniel Tiger story bots, sort of thing that entertains my one and three year old. I have one of these little puppet things here in the next one, and then these stacking dinosaurs that my youngest, well not my youngest, my three year old got for Easter. So those are in those two pockets, so plenty of room there. And then lastly, in this Velcro pocket is just where I have my son's extra outfit. So for him right now, since he's technically potty trained, I have this medium planet-wise wet bag with a spare outfit. And usually when we're out, I have these thicker ones because it can hold an accident in case something happens. And then a pair of pants and a shirt. And as you saw, it fit back there really easily. All right, then lastly, I know a lot of you guys are going to notice this zipper right here. So it doesn't go to a pocket back here or anything. It goes to the wristlet, like I told you guys earlier. If you're not carrying diapers and everything for your kids, you can actually hook this wristlet in on the inside. And then you don't have to dig through your whole bag 
to get to your wallet and things. It's just right there and easy to access. And then when you don't want to take your whole bag, you just zip it off and you have the wristlet. So I feel like this bag has a lot of very unique features that I haven't seen in other bags. The inside is waterproof, which is a must when you're a mom. It has a nice contrasting color that makes it easy to see everything inside of like you guys saw. The outside is vegan leather and like I said I just think it's the most unique convertible tote I have seen in a while. So if you are still in diapers, if you are getting to where you're like me and you're close to getting out of diapers, I feel like this just fits a lot of different phases in life. All right guys, so that is all for this beautiful vegan leather bag. If you guys have any other questions, just comment down below and let me know. Um, as you guys know, if you've been following along for a while, my husband loves when there's something separate for diaper changes and he doesn't have to take the whole diaper bag. So this is just that. I also like that you can just take off the personal bag, like I said, and zip it in on the inside if you're not doing diapers. This is your beautiful bag just in and on its own. And then you can take this when you don't want to take the whole big bag. So I feel like it really is truly a convertible diaper bag for all the different phases of life. But if you guys have any other questions about this bag, just comment down below and let me know. I will put my affiliate link in the info box, which will give you guys 20% off using the code here. And yeah, you can always message me on Instagram to see anything packed inside that you're curious about. Also for giveaways on bags, be sure to check out my Instagram as well. And I will see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.